To arrest thus far, more expected following a shooting inside the men's room at this popular nightclub now shut down by order of the commissioner of police. 20-year-old Jaramel Benitez of Riverside Avenue is charged with gang assault and is among those alleged to have lured the victim, identified in court papers as Samuel Santiago, into the men's room at the club, where police say Santiago was beaten about the head and body before being shot in the pelvis. He continues to recover from his wounds. As far as uh, the victim suspects, uh, we believe they are known to each other and that this was a targeted incident. This was not random. Uh, this, uh, this, this was a targeted shooting. That's the evidence that we have at this point. While Benitez remains held without bail, a second suspect under arrest, 29-year-old Ramon Lopez, is expected to be arraigned tomorrow. There is a possibility not only for others to be arrested, but there's also a possibility for additional charges uh, to be levied uh, as well. This is the second time a shooting has occurred inside the club. The police commissioner defended his decision to exercise powers granted to him under the city charter and ordered the club shut down, citing this and numerous other violent incidents here in the past, even though, he says, the owners of this club are engaged members of the business community and cooperative with police. They have an extensive camera system. Uh, they have uh, an extensive security plan. They have other technology, but there is a security lapse. Something is happening when guns are getting into the clubs. Not only are they getting into the clubs, but they're obviously being used. To me, it's baffling and, and really mind-boggling how someone was able to enter the premises with a loaded weapon and then discharge it in the men's bathroom. Fillmore District Common Council member Mitch Nowakowski, in whose district the club is located, backs the commissioner's decision, especially with the holidays coming up. We cannot have that club open when there are uh, the potential of, of a large uh, crowd of people in that space uh, with measures uh, that have clearly failed. The owner of Club Marcella told us this afternoon that he has asked for additional police patrols in this area, but felt that because his club is rather isolated and not in an area like Chippewa or Allen Street where several clubs are concentrated, that those patrols haven't been as beefy as he thought they would be. On your side in Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.